Hi. Well, here's an interesting little rifle for you. This is a Caltech SU-16. Chambered in 223 Remington or 5.56 uh, uh, NATO. And it is uh, a little one of these little fold-up uh, Caltech rifles. And as you can see, the forend can be folded down to form a bipod. Simply just uh, fold it back up here and clamp it down. And these can be uh, folded in half by way of uh, this uh, pin here. Simply push that pin out. And the thing will fold right in half. You do have to be careful not to lose your pin. It doesn't uh, fit in there that tight when the gun is folded. Came with uh, two five round magazines, which also fit into the stock. But it also takes uh, standard AR 15 magazines, like this 20 rounder. I'll uh, get her loaded up here and we'll try a few shots with it. Well, we'll see if we can get a few rounds uh, on camera with this thing. When I get home and can see through the camera viewfinder a little better, I'll give you a little bit more information about this gun. And uh, just a little bit ago, I, met, I said that these uh, magazines that fit in the stock were five rounders. They're not, they're 10 rounders. And one other thing I should mention is when you shoot the gun, you've got this, these mags are held in the stock by a little retaining pin and spring. But when you're firing the gun and you got a fully loaded magazine, once in a while these will fall out of the stock here. Not, not out of the magazine well, but out of the stock. So I'm going to lay that down there for the moment. Your uh, safety is a cross bolt safety back here. Well, I apologize for cutting the shooting part of that uh, of this video uh, short, but uh, while I was at the range, I got a phone call that I had to take, and I had to cut my uh, range time short when I made uh, the shooting part of the video. But anyway, I'll go ahead and give you a little more information uh, on this gun now that I got uh, some free time. Get the markings to show up here. Now, don't ever think that this is the same quality as a good AR-15. It's not. I mean, this thing is purely plastic. But it does work. I don't know how durable it would be, how long it will last. I have not shot this very much. I've had it for a long time. You'll find the serial number there. It's about the only metal part on the damn gun. But, um, anyway, I first bought this thing years ago just because I thought it was an interesting design to have a two twenty three rifle that you could fold up like this. Making it even considerably shorter than a gun with a folding stock. And as you can see, here's your charging handle. It uh, operates just like most normal semi-automatics. It is gas-operated. The safety is a cross bolt safety that's here. 
the pin for taking these taking it down to fold up is here and it does require something to uh, push it out with it doesn't take a lot of pressure to push it out but you do need uh, some small object like a, a pen or something to poke that pen out of there so it can be folded up it's got a rail on it the rail uh, you know it's serviceable rear sight there the sights are uh, are very visible but they're also very large so it's not uh, it doesn't lend itself to pinpoint accuracy with these sights and as you've seen before you can carry the 10 round magazines in the stock however if you load this thing up and you've got these uh, magazines stored in the stock and they're loaded they are a little bit heavier and you tend to start shooting the gun whichever uh, magazine you've still got in the stock is liable to fall out on you it's just held in there with a spring loaded pin so it doesn't take a lot of pressure to get one of them out of there but anyway like I said uh, sometime or other I'll get a little more shooting done with this one but uh, like I said I got a phone call that I just couldn't ignore so had to cut the range time short on it but I want to do an end of video shout out and this one's for Sam E12 and I'll put a link to his channel in the description of this video if you get a little free time go check it out thanks for watching